And on top of that, we are sensing some really, really strong winds. I, I'm not sure if it's 80 or 100 miles an hour, but I can tell you that it is moving uh, vehicles that are in this neighborhood. Speaking of vehicles, there are a few that the, the water has reached. So further down the street here, there was a gentleman apparently driving at this time, and I, I'm not sure if he stopped his car or if his, his car stopped because of the flooding, but apparently he got he started walking. It appeared to be an elderly man. Our crew tried to make contact with him. It seemed like he was he was out of it. It wasn't clear that he knew what was going on. He, he walked further down the street, and as you can see, this these are extremely dangerous conditions. The water on this street has started pushing debris further and further up, and if you look that way, you can see the water accumulating. We're hearing banging sounds, uh, uh, the ominous creaking of the trees around us. Uh, we've seen branches come down. We've seen the sky light up in blue and green. Clear